Dear friends, welcome to the next problem of belt drive, problem number 8. The data of the problem is like this. A leather belt transmits 10 kW from a motor running at 600 rpm by an open belt drive. The diameter of the driving pulley of the motor is 350 mm center distance between the pulleys is 4 meter and speed of the driven pulley is 180 rpm the belt weighs 1100 kg per meter cube and the maximum allowable tension in the belt is 2.5 newton per millimeter square tag mu is equal to 0 0.25 find the width of the belt assuming the thickness to be 10 mm neglect the belt thickness to calculate the velocities dear friends let us first of all <coughs> note down the given situation and prepare the diagram the diagram of the problem data is like this this is a driving pulley with open belt drive and a driven pulley here the angle of lap theta will be different on both side for smaller pulley angle of lap theta will be equal to 180 degree minus 2 beta and on larger pulley side angle of lap theta will be equal to 180 degree plus 2 beta here we have to consider the least theta that is 180 degree minus 2 beta the cross section of the belt is given width is b and thickness is t other data are given like this the power transmitted P is equal to 10 kilowatt that is 10,000 watt. Speed of the driving pulley 1, N1 is equal to 600 rpm. Diameter of the driving pulley, this D1 is equal to 350 mm that is equal to 0 0.350 meter. Center distance c is equal to 4 meter that is equal to 4000 millimeter speed of driven pulley 2 n2 is equal to 180 rpm weight of the belt is given 1100 kilogram per meter cube the maximum tension allowable in the belt material f is given 2.5 Newton per millimeter square is equal to 2.5 into 10 raised to 6 Newton per meter square. Coefficient of friction mu is equal to 0 0.25. Thickness of the belt is given T is equal to 10 millimeter that is equal to 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter we have to calculate the width of the belt friends to calculate the width of the belt we have to consider the maximum tension acting on the belt here mass per unit volume of the belt is also given so we have to consider centrifugal effect also so we can write the maximum tension acting on the belt is given by T is equal to T1 plus Tc T1 is the tension on tight side this and tc is 
the centrifugal tension. We know that power transmitted by the belt is given by P is equal to T1 minus T2 into peripheral velocity of the belt. And the peripheral velocity V is given by pi into d1 into n1 divided by 60. Substituting the values that is pi into 0 0.350 multiplied by 600 divided by 60. On calculation we found the peripheral velocity of the belt V is equal to 11 meter per second. Using relation to that power transmitted P is equal to tension T1 minus tension T2 into peripheral velocity V, we found that is 10,000 is equal to T1 minus T2 into 11. So, we have T1 minus T2 is equal to 909.1 Newton. Let us say this is relation 3. We also know that for tight side tension and slack side tension, T1 upon T2 is equal to E raised to mu theta where theta is angle of left and as we have discussed as here it is an open belt drive so considering the least angle of left theta is given by 180 degree minus 2 beta where beta is given by sine inverse of r2 minus r1 upon center distance c and that is equal to sin inverse of larger diameter d2 minus smaller diameter d1 upon 2 times center distance c. Here we are also instructed to neglect the belt thickness to calculate velocities. So we write n2 upon n1 is equal to d1 upon d2. So, d2 is equal to d1 into n1 divided by n2. On substitution of the values is equal to 350 into 600 divided by 180. So, the diameter of the driven pulley d2 is equal to 1167 millimeter. Substituting this values for the equation of beta, we found beta is equal to sin inverse of 1167 minus 350 divided by 2 into 4000. On calculation, we found is equal to 5.86 degree. So, theta will be that is equal to angle of lap will be 180 degree minus 2 beta. Substituting the values of beta, we found theta is equal to 168.28 degrees. Representing the theta in terms of radians, so theta is equal to 168.28 into pi upon 180 that gives on calculation 2.94 radian. So now from relation 4 t1 upon t2 is equal to e raised to mu theta substituting values of mu and theta t1 upon t2 is equal to e raised to 0 0.25 into 2.94 that gives us t1 upon t2 is equal to 
2.085 hence t1 is equal to 2.085 t2 let us say this is relation number 5 using this in relation 3 that is t1 minus t2 is equal to 909.1 this becomes 2.085 t2 minus t2 is equal to 909.1 simplifying and finding t2 it is equal to 837.9 newton so from relation 5 we can write this relation 5 t1 is equal to 2.085 t2 substituting value of t2 we find t1 is equal to 1747 newton now considering the centrifugal tension which is given by tc is equal to m v square let us say this is relation number 6 where m is given by m is equal to mass of belt per unit length and we can write it is in this form mass m is equal to mass of belt per unit volume into width into thickness and so m is equal to 1100 that is mass per unit volume into width that is b into thickness that is 10 into 10 raised to minus 3 so we found m is equal to 11 times b kilogram per meter now using relation number 6 we can write centrifugal tension tc is equal to m into v square that is equal to 11 into b into 11 square it gives 1331 into b newton so the maximum tension in belt T is equal to T1 plus Tc. So, substituting the values, T is equal to 1747 plus 1331 into B Newton. S, the permissible tension in belt is F is equal to 2.5 into 10 to 6 Newton per meter square. We can write that T is equal to permissible tension into cross sectional area of the belt that is B into T. So, substituting the values T is equal to 1747 plus 1331 times B is equal to F that is 2.5 into 10 to 6 into B into thickness T. So, Rearranging the terms, we find 23,669 times B is equal to 1747. So, on calculation, we found B is equal to 0 0.0738 meter and that is equal to 73.8 millimeter. So, we can conclude that the belt thickness is 73.8 millimeter. Thank you friends.